let's look at how to filter data by month. And so here we have a tab with a bunch of data. And so if we want to display just a month's worth of data, we can do that using a filter formula, but we want to be able to select the month because over here we could do filter and we could do filter by condition and date between, which would be this is between, but this is kind of a clunky way to approach it. And so let's look at how to add a drop down and then filter the data right here. So right click and we're going to go to drop down and then we're going to add a three letter abbreviation for each month right here. And once we have these typed in, I'm going to go ahead and change this to an arrow. It just looks a little nicer in this layout. Hit done and we can close this out. So now we can select a month here. So for example, March, and we could even set this something like that if we want as well. And then down here, what we're going to use is a filter formula. So equals filter. And then with a table, we can actually type in the table name. Or if you don't have a table, you can just select the data like this. So I'm going to show you how to do it with the table name. And so you just type the name right here and then comma. And then we select the column we want to filter by. And so just as a quick example, we could filter by sales rep. And we could say where equals to Katie. And that would just show Katie. Now we want to filter by month. So we're going to change this and go to date. Now the problem is the date is actual dates, not the month. And so how do we convert that? So what we're going to start with is we're going to wrap this with text and then three M's uppercase. And what this is going to do is going to turn those dates into a three letter month abbreviation, which if you look, that's what we have in this cell. So we could do equals then and compare it to this cell. And you can see now we have March. And so if I go to January, you can see now I have January. Now, one issue with this is it works great if you only have a single year's worth of data. But what if this is 2026 or maybe 2024? So if we go to January, you can see, lo and behold, this one's in the wrong year, but it's still showing up. So let's look at how to also add the year. So we'll just call this enter year. And then let's just paint this format down here, just like that. And so we could put something like 2025 right here. So the easiest way to handle this is to go to our formula. And then we're basically going to take our same date column, comma here, and then we're going to wrap it in year. And now we can do equals to that year. And so now you can see that 2026 disappeared. And so we come back. So this is Eddie clean house. It's funny. I never really tried to pronounce that name before. And then there it shows back up because it's now in the correct year. So that's a quick way that you can do a month and a year selection. All right. So to finish up this video, let's look at how to also add sales rep and sector in case you want to filter by those as well. So let's just add those select rep and select sector. And then I'm going to paint the format here. Go ahead and right align them. And then we're going to add two drop downs here. So let's copy this format. And then let's add a drop down here. So drop down. And what I'm going to do here is just that data sales rep. Just like that. And there are those options. And again, we can also change this to an arrow if you like that look better, which personally I do, but it's up to you. And then we can click on this cell. And since we have this open, we can just go straight to that. And then again, data, this would be sector. And then there are our sectors. So I'm going to come down again, change this to arrow, hit done, and close this out. Now, the one thing here, so for example, if I delete this year, we have this no matches found. So in this case, it may be fine. But one thing we may want to do here is if these are blank, then we're not going to use it. And so that's up to you. So I'm going to show you both ways. So first of all, I'm going to show you what happens if we have them both selected. So Kading technology. So for example, we want to see this row right here, right? So what we could do here then 
is we can again use our table names here. And so first one would be sales rep equals to Katie. And then we can do data and this would be sector is equal to this drop down. Hit enter and there we go. And so now if we go to Wayne, it doesn't look like he has any. And so I'm just going to show you one thing real quick here. We could do if error and do a dash there or even say no results found. Something like that. And then we go through, let's see Daniel. Daniel has some. Now one thing, because I added that text, if you ever have this happen, if you add this if error and you add text, it's going to change those dates into numbers. And so if you ever need to fix that, just select that column there. And then we're going to click more formats, hit date. And then if you notice, it also did it with the amounts. So it's just a funky thing that happens when you change the format. It's like Google freaks out and decides we're not going to recognize anything that was already there. So you may have to restore the formats after you do that, but then it'll be good from here on out. All right, so here we have Daniel and technology. Now, if we unselect one of these, it's going to immediately go to no results found, even though if we go over here and look, uh, we have Daniel in January. So how do you compensate for that? All right, so what we're going to do then is we're going to do a little fancy work here. So we have this data sales rep equals to E3, and then this one is equal to E4. So what we're going to do is actually a little if statement in here. We're going to say if E3 is blank, what we're going to do is we'll just take this and we'll say it's not equal to blank. Now, one thing to be careful of is if the rep isn't selected. So let me just go ahead and enter that for now. And let me do the same thing here real quick. E4 blank. We'll do this not equal to blank or this. So now it's working. We have it pulling through for January and Daniel. And so we can go to Wayne, for example. We can blank this out and it still works. We can select just a sector and it works. Now, the only issue is, is let's say this one here. So Katie, and if we delete this, it's not going to show up. Because what we did is said sector has to have a value. So what we may want to do here instead of using this one and verifying are not blank, we may want to use one that's always going to be filled. So for example, if this date is always going to be filled, which in this case, if we're assuming these two have to be filled, then what may be better is flip flop this and do something like this. So that way our field that we're looking at won't be an issue. So now we come back here and delete technology. Here it is. It's still showing up, even though it's not selected. Now, if we go and select technology, obviously it's not going to show up, but that shouldn't be an issue there. So. So that's it on today's video on how to filter data by month. Make sure to check out the other videos on our channel for more tutorials on both Google Sheets and AppScript. And as always, have a great day.